I'm Corey Schmitz from PhotographingSpace.com. I'm going to show you how to use the Mini Stars Photoshop Action Pack for astrophotography. You can download Mini Stars at PhotographingSpace.com. The first thing we need to do is install the action. So navigate to the folder where you downloaded Mini Stars. In this case, I put it on the desktop. Open up the zip file to expand it, and then open up the folder that's inside the zip file. The file that we care about the most is the ATN file. That's the action itself. The other files included are the installation instructions, the FAQ, and the license. Then go to Photoshop and open up the image that you have finished editing. So to install the action into Photoshop, click the Actions button, then click the menu, click Load Actions, and find the folder where we opened up the zip file. Find the action file, the ATN, and click Open. Now we see Mini Stars is installed. That's as easy as it is. Now, what I like to do first on my images is to run Mini Stars All, which is the entire iteration of Mini Stars. So that will run one, two, three, four, and five. All five of them are different levels of star reduction. So I want to see what they all look like, and then I'll take it from there. So I click Mini Stars All, and then I click the play button. What that will do in the background is that will run all five iterations on my image and then create layers for each one. Okay, it's done. Now, we can go through each layer that are labeled of our image and see what it looks like to decide which one we want to do. So first we'll look at Mini Stars 1. It's a very slight star reduction, which is good for some images. Then we look at Mini Stars 2 and just toggle the visibility. That's a little bit more star reduction. Mini Stars 3, Mini Stars 4, getting more extreme here, and Mini Stars 5, much more. One of the things that I like to do is I like to start with Mini Stars 2 or Mini Stars 3. So let's, at this point, start with Mini Stars 2, and I'm going to delete the other layers, now that I know which one I want to use. So I will select the layer of Mini Stars 2, and then I want to run another iteration of the same, because it's not quite enough for me. So I'll play it again, after I've selected the layer that I want to apply it to. Let it run. and then Mini Stars 2 is run again. Now I like the way this looks already. I don't think I want to add anything more to this. So what I can do to do a quick comparison between my images is I will delete this layer in between, or rather just turn off the visibility, and then toggle between the two so I can see the difference. To me that looks pretty huge and the Milky Way is popping out a lot more. And there you have your final image.